Yo, so I want to shout out everybody that uh, clarified the various cameos and references during the last episode. Um, obviously, by the end of last episode, I was able to recognize Collis, you know, master of Yuga de Millennia, along with his older sister. Not in this timeline. Uh, uh, the Charles Babbage friend poster clarifying who Rainis was talking about at the very beginning, which was Solau, Kenneth, and at the end, Bazet and Atrium. Thank you for clarifying that because I was dear now. I was like, which which two are they talking about? You know, so um, yeah, that timeline was a little confusing to me there, but uh, yeah, ready to continue on. I do find the show interesting. I like Waver as a character and see him seeing him deal with his own personal things as well as these various cases. So let's see what it is this time. Beginning the episode in three, two, one. Oh. Damn. Love it. Sir Sophia Ri. Yeah, that's his department, yeah. We get to experience this awesome opening every week. Pretty cool, but oh man, what a like intimate moment for Gray to stumble upon. Will Waver discover what his Okeanus is? What that means to him? God, I love the vibe of this opening. It's so like washed out yet colorful. It's Gloomy, it's great. It's... I'm curious what the Rail Zeppelin case is. I know this is based on a light novel series, but I, I definitely don't know to what extent. Troika. I did not expect to see him. I thought I was watching Fate Apocrypha for a second. So I guess he's going to be involved. Fucking Necromancer. That shot. Wills. Oh, he passed. All right.
Jesus. That sucks. So what else could have happened? Excuse me. Okay. So we've got our case for the episode. See what it is. A lot of fragments. Oh. Oh my. Made a little bounded field. Yeah, that's right. At the post credit scene last episode, we found out that, yeah, uh, that he was chosen and Bazette. Right, that's Salah's brother. They sure did. He does have that red hair. Interesting convo. Of course, Waver would be interested in it again. In a... Nice. I like how the, I forget what it's called, the construct made out of volumen hydrogyrum is just like with them now. And apparently um, acts like a terminator. Oh, yo. Yeah, I was going to say, what kind of mystic eyes, like, react like that? I know there's a bunch of different ones. Damn. Convenient.
Oh my. Seems a bit fatigued. <laughs> when he gets angry, I, I like I see little waver. Yeah, Orochimaru. Yo. I, lo I love this team. Adashino. She seems vaguely familiar. But maybe not. What? Yo. So, saw a guy like that in episode two. Dun, dun, dun. But, you know, they showed us our boy earlier. Who may have been messing with Sir Trevor's remains in that brief scene. Oh. Was present during that. Oh, what? Ah, so may as well investigate. Plenty of time. Huh. And girl on the left is just like, I know it's him. They're so set on him that they are automatically sus. Come on, waver. Expose him. I thought he was about to find a secret passage. <laughs> well, that explains some of that. <laughs> what? Ah, an incentive. Really?
Right. Yo. Oh, shit. The hell? It was like the Cave of Ordeals in Twilight Princess. Very specific reference, I know. Alright, so we just got a whole other thing going on with this fairy. Okay. That's kind of cool. Oh, shit. Wild hunt. Oh, there's the secret passage. Ah, oh, you two will be fine. Huh. Oh, man, look at the three of you will be just fine. Oh, this is where he was. She's a gravekeeper. It must be very overwhelming. Interesting. Oh, shit. Now, this is just a trap. Did he shoot his gun? Ha, <laughs> there he is. He is and he is super powerful too. Oh damn. Yo, holy shit. Yo, her eye just got on fire. What the fuck? That's a crazy response. I love that he's just here. That's so.
Well, he's made himself at home. Waver's like, all right. He seems content. The hell? <laughs> Complete garbage. Girl, if you don't come back in 10 years. Ah, uh, how done it, who done it? Oh, super sus. Come on. Oh, we figured something out. Oh, what? We have a case spanning multiple episodes. Okay. All right. So this is kind of what I was hoping, uh, hoping with before. I know, like, the OG content is out there with the light novel, but as far as pacing it for the anime, I actually prefer they, they give things time to develop. They give, like, maybe stretch it to two episodes. A case, not to make it sound so arbitrary, but I don't know. I like this, basically. Seeing Shishigo just as a independent badass not having to fight in a weird-ass Holy Grail War is cool. But seeing how Waver was at the beginning, you know, obviously, like, realizing... He wasn't chosen to be a master uh, at the beginning, like having a very personal moment with what he has left of Iskandar, the catalyst, just wishing he could see him and kind of resolving at the ends. Then there's Ad, which I. Don't completely understand yet, but maybe I will. Oh. Little Santa cap. What? The fuck? Now she's dead? What the fuck was- wait, what the fuck was that? Was that an alien from the movie Alien? the hell was that <laughs> what the f is that a pokemon what is that like a banana headed demon hmm interesting okay well uh I guess we're going to be finding out very quickly what that could be. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like just some amalgamation. It's very strange. Some kind of creature. Uh, 
bipedal. I don't, I don't know what it could be though. Legit looks like a Pokemon sprite. Like who's that Pokemon? Um, yeah. So what can I talk about this episode? Again, cool to see uh, Shishigo just be his badass self. Um, this new case is interesting because they showed him at the beginning. I guess maybe as a red herring, but and then I was suspicious of Waleta and uh. A girl who wants to inherit the workshop. But then Waleta apparently just got struck by lightning and fucked up. And we have this weird thing here that's obviously connected to it. Uh, so yeah, not, not really enough to determine you know, what exactly is going on. But I'm sure next episode we'll get some, some badass. Possibly a fight. Maybe some more gray action. Um, I like Rhinus. Rhinus is cool. Gray, obviously, to give in a uh, Terminator made. Great. Uh, yeah, and, and kind of like the conversation Rhinus had with. Oh, God. Why do I keep forgetting his name? Uh, Solau's brother um, within that little bounded field while they were chilling uh, was interesting. You know, about Waver's interest in the Holy Grail War and about there being one slot left. Probably maybe indicative of the fact that Rain. Um, Rin had already summoned Archer, meaning only Shiro needing to summon Saber was left. So, uh, yeah, it's almost like kind of giving us a little time frame as things progress. You know, as if like the first couple days of the war have already started. So, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Again, just looking forward to the next one. So we'll see what it is next week. Um, thank you for watching the show with me. Um, Feel free to share how you feel about the show or maybe things that you noticed. Uh, yeah, I like I like getting more context and more information about the Nostroverse. I'm not super well versed in it. Uh, I feel still fairly newish to it and that I still have to finish all the Fate Stay Night routes, mainly only Heaven's Feel at this point, as well as uh, finishing Apocrypha and playing Sugihime. So either way, looking forward to more. So once again, thank you and I'll see you next time. Peace.